Hi friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. As of now, you have learned about a so part of Outlook email automation. Now we are going to learn about Gmail. So we'll learn here how to get email from Gmail. And in this, we'll learn how to configure Gmail to get emails. And we'll learn how to receive emails from Gmail in UiPath, how to read only unread emails, how to mark email as read, how to read top 5 or 10 emails from Gmail, how to fix all exceptions received while getting emails from Gmail. So we are going to use here get IMAP mail message activity to get email from Gmail. So before starting, I just want to tell you about what is IMAP. So you can see here, IMAP stands for Internet Message Access Protocol which is used to receive email from mail server. IMAP is very fast and popular and easy to retrieve emails from Gmail without downloading it. So this is IMAP that is Internet Message Access Protocol. We need to use few settings before using these features that is IMAP server and port so here this is the server name that is imap.gmail.com and this is the port number 993 now what exceptions we get here while getting email from gmail I'm going to show you here so let's say if you are getting this type of exception I will tell you why we are getting this exception and how can we fix this how can we resolve this issue so you can see here the message we get here, an error occurred while attempting to re-establish an SSL or TLS connection. So why do we get this and how can we resolve this issue? I will tell you later in this video. You can watch this video till the end. And the next exception that you will get here. So we learn how to resolve this exception that is invalid credentials failure. So this is not only about you are putting invalid email ID and invalid password right so I will tell you how can you fix this issue also so first let me uh, open my Gmail so here basically I'm going to use my personal email ID and I have few emails here and I want to fetch few emails and few details of these emails like from email ID and you know the subject of that email ID to email ID who is in the two two email IDs CC and subject here in UiPath Studio, let me uh, take activity that is get IMAP. So we need to get email from Gmail. So we have to use this get IMAP message, mail message activity. Previously, you learned about how to get email from Outlook. So we are getting, uh, we are using get Outlook mail message, and now we are using get IMAP mail message, and you can see. In right side of this, you know, of this activity properties, we have to write uh, the mail folder that is inbox. I'm going to fetch email from this inbox, and now basically we need to take care of this port number. So I have shown in my, you know, uh, the slides that is port number we have to use for Gmail. This IMAP that is 993, and the server name I already shown you that that is imap.gmail.com let me show you here that is imap.gmail.com and that will be in double quotes and because that will take string value now here in the email and password so you have to provide the email ID from where you want to get email right so here I'm going to put my own email ID okay so make sure you are typing the correct email ID otherwise you can get an invalid credential something or invalid email exception now here you need to pa put the password here so to type the password I'm going to use here get password so it will convert your password into you know protected here so I'm going to put here my password that that will be your Gmail password which you use to you know uh, 
to access this emails right so same email id and password I, i'll put here okay so this is my password i'm using here and then i will take one variable so this will be a password variable so this password will be stored in a variable and now i'm going to use the same thing here in the password okay and we have few options here delete message markers read only unread message security top 30 here so here for the delete if you want to delete this message after reading that you can check this so i'm not going to check this if you want to mark that email as read so you can check this here if you want to read only unread message then you can check this so yes we are going to check only a uh, read only unread mail message now here in the secure connection we have to provide the you know we have the ssl on connect start tls start tls when available but i am going to use here auto so automatically whatever secure connection will be available it will take here now in the top 30 i am just going to use here top 5 and this will be the same we use to get emails from outlook we'll just take here control k and you know put the email id uh, put the variable and then the same steps we need to follow for this email id also because we are getting all these emails here and uh, stored in a variable that is list of mail message you can see here let me show list of mail message and again we need to change this to system.net.mail message and just go change this email put here emails so everything will be the same and now I'm just going to take one message box here so that I can show you that we are able to fetch emails from Gmail or not so I'm just going to use your email dot from okay now I'm going to just run this so you will see here which type of error I am getting here so I'm just you know uh, put in the configuration value that is port number and server and password email IDs all these details and now I'm just going to run this control F5 and now we will see we are getting this runtime execution error that is an error occurred while attempting to establish an, an SSL or TLS connection so this is the error right here to resolve this issue first you need to check here that you have any antivirus installed in your system or not so here I have this antivirus Avast installed here so I'm just going to disable for 10 minutes so I have disabled it so if you have any uh, Microsoft also you can disable it here and then you can try now so once if you'll run this again will not be getting that type of error now we are getting here invalid credentials so here we are getting these exceptions and you can see I have already put the valid password and valid email ID then why are we getting this type of exceptions so basically this exception is for you know UI path is trying to you know check this credential with the IMAP server with the that Gmail but it's not able to check there because our IMAP server is not allowing UI path to access that Gmail so how can we allow it so for that we have to go to the Gmail and from here from you know settings go to the settings and we need to take care of these things from the settings go to the forwarding and pop IMAP option and then here you have to check the IMAP access this should be always enabled next thing from your account here you will see your logo here just go and click on that and click on this manage your accounts we have this manage your account so once you will click on this go to the security 
and go to the last and we have this option less secure app access so we have currently this off so we need to turn on this access so just click on this so this should be on to access emails now once you set this on now you just you just have to wait for you know 10 second so that this will be updated with the gmail server now just wait for 10 seconds and then you can directly run this okay now you can see I'm getting this message that is Google so this is the first email I received now we have this SDFC bank this is the from third that's no, that is no query alerts for the same fifth the same six okay so we have just five top emails right so by this way you can get email from Gmail using this get IMAP mail message and by this way you can resolve all these exceptions so make sure you are using the port number 993 and the server that is imap.gmail.com and here your email ID and the password and from this Gmail from this setting uh, from the forward pop and IMAP you have to enable that IMAP and then from this account this should be on so it will allow other applications to access that IMAP server right so once you are done with this you can just off this so basically this is the way to receive email from other server like that is your gmail and now if you want to do anything here you can do whatever you want to do you can perform the next step I hope you learned how to configure your IMAP server how to configure your gmail to get emails from gmail so I hope you like this video